Now let's talk about how brands can realize the goal. Personalization in real time in an omni-channel approach. So, Ankur, uh, Adobe developed Adobe Experience Platform uh, to address the challenges and opportunities uh, for brands as discussed by Patrick. Um, what are the fundamentals of this new technology uh, and how can it help brands realize the next level of personalization? Customers today demand transparency and they want fair use of the data which they are willingly giving to brands. This, as well as the challenge of cookie-less, is giving us a new opportunity to really work on our personalization. 63% of customers today still expect personalized experience, regardless of what happens in the cookies. They do not care about that. The way Adobe addresses this challenge is by bringing in the principle of using durable identifiers and giving rocket speed streaming and even streaming of data through events as well as data fragments and then combining them together into real-time profiles. Let's have a look. So we have now a one data stream leaving our website. It could be at Pound of Stales, it could be at the mobile app, or it could be through email. All of that gets streamed directly to Adobe Experience Platform, and then it is redistributed towards different Adobe solutions. What happens next is we then have our platform which has this data foundation right at the bottom. On top of it, we have services for identity resolution, different fragments of information flowing in from different channels, and then they get combined into these real-time profiles. Furthermore, to really deliver a proper personalized experience, brands need to do really three things. First is unify data. Unify data into real-time profiles. But today the challenge is, our customers might have the data, but they, this data is spread across different channels and it takes a lot of effort to combine it together. The second is build audiences. Audiences which are built on rules based on AI models or on data science outputs. And finally, combining this with good content can deliver a great experience. Adobe Experience Platform does it from the ground up. With a common data foundation and its services, this is something which comes natural to our product. We spoke about first-party data before. Um, why does it seem to be the solution to the cookie list challenge that, we, that we're facing? So marketers today and brands today have two options with them. Either wait for a solution to the third-party cookies, which means which was already not very effective to begin with, or to evolve. And the evolution really is leverage what data you have through a consented and transparent approach through your customers, or create new experiences, deliver value to your customers so that they are willingly sharing this data with you. Unfortunately, what's happening today is brands either have this data available with them, but it's so fragmented that it's super hard to get it together and have a real picture of what your customers are doing. Forget real time. On the other hand, brands want to capture and acquire this data, but they are not delivering experiences which give value to their consumers. So, these are the two real pieces where brands have to work. Once this can be done, that's how you can go further and improve experiences. But we are still not limited to experiences, right? Attribution, prospecting is the future as well, and this is still possible with first-party data. Using Adobe Experience Platform, you could actually exchange data with second-party providers without exchanging sensitive information, and that could be the very next step. I must also say that Transparency and fair use of data from our consumers is going to be a differentiator. And this is where brands should be looking at. So a lot of our uh, customers are worried about data privacy regulations across the world. So how can they still achieve their goals with compliance? Excellent. At the heart of Adobe Experience Platform, we have a privacy-first approach. The platform builds in with the concept that when you really start designing the data models and start ingesting information for our customers, we start with labeling of data. How the data has to be used has to be defined right in the beginning. This allows brands to be very, very clear about compliance as well as fair use of information. The second step is to define policies. You could define privacy policies which define which data has to be used for which specific marketing use case. And this enables, again, for the tick mark on the compliance side. I, I think it's always easier for a marketer to work in peace when these things are already sorted out and out of their way. But Adobe does not stop at this. 
We already have privacy UI where different kinds of privacy requests can be taken care of. This is CCPA, GDPR, compliance laws in Thailand, I think as, as early as last week from Brazil. All of these are already baked into the product. And we are not stopping here. We are listening to our customers every single day and trying to improve on this so that privacy still remains uh, an easy task to do rather than a very complex scenario where long discussions with compliance and marketers have, have to go on. 